<laughs> well, they're almost identical twins. <laughs> How many actors have wanted to do that after getting rejected after an audition? Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and today I'm reacting to Despicable Me 3. So I believe this is the last one in the series. I'm assuming it's going to be some type of conclusion. I could be wrong. Maybe we're going to be open up to a fourth one, but the first two films in this franchise have been just so, so much fun. You know, I think the central character really holding everything together is, of course, Gru. I mean, Steve Carell just kills the part. He's lovable. He's silly. He's funny. And he's also, you know, kind of an awesome villain slash spy at the same time. And then the three kids, you know, I just love them. They're so great. They really bring out Gru's heart and are, you know, adorable in the best way. The, the movies are ridiculous, fun, silly. I, I'm excited to see what we are in store for in chapter three. As always, if you do want to see my unedited reaction to this film, it's going to be up on Patreon. And if you want to see next week's reaction, haven't decided what uh, animated movie that's going to be, I'll probably put up a vote on Patreon. But whatever that is, that's going to be up right now for early access. Let's get into the movie, Despicable Me 3. Young Balthazar Bratz as a child. What a name. I've been a bad boy. Bratz was the <laughs> That's gotta be the best hairdo of all time. The young star boy? experienced an unexpected boy? growth spurt. <laughs> they couldn't do makeup. <laughs> Quickly plunged into a downward spiral. Well, as many child stars do. Leading us all to wonder, where is he now? <laughs> Let me guess, he became a supervillain. Maybe he's friends with Gru. You know what, Clive? Playing a villain on TV was fun, but being one in real life is even better. Heist music! Here he comes! <laughs> With that heist music! Sorry, my bad. I think that's perfect, heist music. If you're gonna be a, a super villain, just do it with style. <laughs> I wonder if he and Gru know each other. Like, did they used to hang out in the villain pub? It's like the blob, it just keeps expanding. That's not a monster. That's a man wearing shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Finding Nemo. Why? What did you call us? Brucey. You know, Gru and Lucy mush together. I like it, but not a lot. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, please don't say that again. I mean, he looks like he's having a blast. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Why not make evil a little bit retro, right? <laughs> Honestly, Gru should do reaction videos. Got like Dark Knight water scooters. That's actually amazing. <laughs> Their landing might not be as good. From world's worst villain to world's worst agent. That's hilarious. You should be on TV. <laughs> oh, that's right. You are. But you <laughs> That's a pretty great burn. What about that? Oh. Wow. Oh, Carl. <laughs> Dance fight. I mean, Gru has some moves, but I feel like he might have met his match with uh, Baltazar. <laughs> that was a great move, Gru. Let's hope the, the bubble gum doesn't burst and the ship just drops on the city. Oh, great. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> That's quite the villain laugh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, of course they're snapping photos. Well, Gru, uh, I feel bad for you. <laughs> what an opening. What an opening to the third film. Push them over, Gru. <laughs> His does that too. <laughs> 
That was very satisfying. Your new leader is coming directly from head office. Oh, who's this going to be? Miss Valerie Da Vinci. As I look out over all your... I don't trust her. News fact. Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. Last... We understand. You're old. Uh, uh, You're fat. Uh, You're dumb. <laughs> He literally sinks through the floor. That's what happens when you retire, people. They don't show you that, but that's what happens. Which one of you losers is Agent Drew? Loser, per se. Kind of is. <laughs> oh, well, that's bad timing. That's really bad timing. You're fired! <gasps> what? That's totally not that's, true. That's such an overreaction. This is insane. You're gonna have to fire me, sister. She's going to. Watch. want to do that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Literally just like thrown out. You know what? Don't work for that organization anyways. You guys should start your own anti-villain business. <laughs> I love how she understood exactly what he said. <laughs> wow, what a setup. These girls are great. Oh, well, uh, maybe order takeout later. Oh, that looks so nasty. To leave and eat! Am I right? <laughs> I made it for you. Yeah, how can you say no to her? <laughs> Good soup. I love the company. Has that happened to anyone? Tell me, anyone who has kids, let me know if your kid has, like, made something for you and if you just had to grit your teeth and eat it to show your appreciation. You got fired? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We retired. But All right. Well, I actually think right. honesty was the good route. Sure Look at the dog sleeping in the background. Even better. <laughs> you can gamble online. That's what Katie's dad does. Let's not go over to Katie's house anymore. <laughs> I don't want you hanging out with that type of family. Dr. Nefario accidentally freezing himself in carbonite. Oh, shoot. You went full Han Solo. <laughs> I mean, the first pictures are undeniably more exciting. Are they gonna quit? What? You're serious? Come on! What are you guys gonna do for work? what do we the presents of the world? Good thing those doors are wide. Smelling it? Is that one way to tell? That's actually pretty smart. He went full Mission Impossible, just added a fat suit, right? It's actually pretty genius. I'm kind of liking this guy's style. Let's go, Balthazar. <laughs> he sure knows how to put on a show. <laughs> I love how they still sleep in the bombs, like even to this day, even when he's not a villain anymore. Oh, is Gru gonna have an existential crisis, missing his glory days as a villain? It's like reverse Incredibles. Hey, mister, you are not a failure. Look, you've had a great career, you had an unreasonable new boss, and you have an amazing family. You're not a failure. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Come on. You're angry at Gru. Do you have to be mad at people looking for him? Really good to snuggle with. Oh, no, no, no. Agnes, Agnes! So, take good care of him. Why is she selling the toys? Is she worried they're not going to have enough money? Aww. I just wanted to help, since you don't have a job. Aw, she's so sweet. Now, as I was saying, I, uh, oh. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Imagine if you could get rid of like annoying salesmen like that. Seriously? Oh, buddy, you're not giving <laughs> You made it back so fast. On behalf of your twin brother Drew. He needs your help. What? His twin brother Drew? You were? Dang, the mom didn't even tell him that he had a brother? This is crazy. You never told me I had a brother! And you told me that dad died of disappointment when I was born! <laughs> What? She said that? That is so incredibly cruel. Dad died of disappointment? What is she, living in succession world? One son to raise on our own and promised never to see each other again. That's a very unconventional divorce agreement. I have a brother. 
I wonder if he's gonna be a super villain like Gru. Maybe we'll have the twin thing when you can read each other's minds. No? How cool would that be? Um, super cool. <laughs> I like them together. Okay, nice pig. Yeah! No! <laughs> they don't seem very friendly here. Oh, this pig has issues! <laughs> Why is he carrying all the luggage? He's such a skinny guy. This is amazing. Oh, it's like the Sistine Chapel. I wonder what the brother is interested in. I mean, at least he looks very successful. <laughs> well, they're almost identical twins. I'm so happy. Is he always that happy or is he on something? <laughs> This poor guy. This poor guy. It's nice, I guess. Sure. I'm not really into. Hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what is he, Jerry Seinfeld? How many cars does he have? I didn't know the pig industry was this successful. Can I get in on some of this? Mother daughter bonding time. Let's do it. Whoop, whoop. Kids in cars getting coffee. Have fun, you guys. action figure featuring music active. Hey, if you're going to be a supervillain, don't forget to monetize your brand. <laughs> that actually looks like a pretty insanely cool toy. I mean, obviously very dangerous, but still pretty cool. And you, Hollywood, this time I'm canceling you. Nothing to motivate someone to be evil like a rejected actor, huh? I mean, I get this guy's into pigs, but it's literally every part of his design. <laughs> a fan catches them. That's actually great. <laughs> What the heck? So he is a super villain, huh? He was known as the Bald Terror. The Bald Terror. That is terrifying. He was so proud of you and what a great villain you were. He was? I mean, I doubt he was more evil than their mom. Teach me the art of villainy. No. No, no, no. I can't do that. What? Oh, come on, Gru. You missed the villain life anyways. Might as well embrace it again. I'm to the team. That's actually pretty amazing. <laughs> Just hitting every button. All right, that's one way to drive. Not enjoying this. <laughs> Maybe teamed up with his brother, he can take on Balthazar. I feel like the two of them could. Okay, but only one each. I mean it. Aww. Oh, man. No, I don't. <laughs> Get as many as you want. <laughs> don't spoil them. <laughs> you don't want them to get sick. I'd go for the Parmesan. Wait a minute. No. Go take a bite of his cheese, young lady, right now. I don't think this is what Margo meant. i just do it. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, I do feel bad for that kid. <gasps> oh, the last time this happened, it didn't turn out so well. Where unicorns still live. <laughs> Jeez. Did you get it? Did it smell like candy? Was it fluffy? <laughs> I mean, between her excitement and how much candy she ate, no wonder she's just exploding with energy. The unicorn will come and be hers forever. Don't give her hope if it's just all a lie. Come on. This is kind of amazing. Sorry. <laughs> Want a little mama bear on you. A little. Just a little. Wait for me here. Don't for me. Stop Why did you get out on that side? Did you just steal candies? Yes. There's a lot of effort for two lollipops. That was. Lucky. But I mean, with the car you have, I think escape should be pretty easy. This is gonna be fun. Drew has missed this though. And honestly, I don't mind seeing little villainy from him. How are the pigs even running that fast? <laughs> okay, this car is just seriously next level. Yeah, what are you guys gonna do for work now? 
Oh, the minions on the loose is uh, pretty dangerous, actually. Are they gonna, like, crash a movie set here? Okay, let's go. This is your time to shine. This Pirates of Penzance? <laughs> Just like this, they're gonna become overnight sensations. Don't interrupt the show security. Come on, they're a huge hit right now. I mean, just for the choreography alone, I feel like they do deserve an ovation. Tell me you don't miss the rush a little? Uh, yeah, maybe a little. I wonder if there's a way to kind of strike a balance so he does, like, find a passion for life, but he's not a full-on supervillain. The largest diamond in the world! Yes! I love it! Ooh, ooh. I mean, it is cool seeing them bond like this, honestly. Like, Rue could use a good family member who cares about him like this. Could you get me another napkin, please? Are you <laughs> Holy, <laughs> look at what spaghetti she just had. Me, Gru. And me, Drew. <laughs> I hug everybody whether they like it or not. I think they stopped at a bar before they came for dinner. <laughs> The face of every wife when her husband comes home trashed. Dang, that is a tall bunk bed. Man, you better not roll over in your sleep or you're a goner. <laughs> I hope it's a carpeted floor, not wood. Every unicorn you find, you can bring it home. But, you know, there is a chance that you might not find one. Oh, <laughs> she looks so, so crushed. Unicorns don't. Really? Ex explore that part of the wood. Yeah, I don't know if you need to harshly just tell her they don't exist. I'm pure at heart, right? The purest. That's very true. Ah! <laughs> oh, Gru. Lisa didn't wake her up. <laughs> Even after nice. that great performance, they all got arrested. <laughs> Yeah, they're their own gang in prison. You don't want to mess with them. Is that a West Side Story reference? I've never seen the movie, but I think that looks familiar. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at this little backstory. We see Gru was like, kind of like a parent to the minions even before he adopted. No wonder he turned out to be such a great parent. <laughs> That's a pretty amazing mashed potato sculpture. <laughs> All right, time for a prison breakout. I mean, this is more like a food fight, possibly a riot. Gum one, gum all. Seriously, how did this show never win an Emmy? <laughs> Your turn to shine, my diamond. Wow, so everything he's doing is literally from the script of a bad TV episode. I think you're making Syndrome look intelligent. I guess you could say our plan was out of this world. <laughs> Oh, please do that and deliver each of those puns the same way. Whoa. Even if you don't find a unicorn, this is a pretty awesome spot. Here we come. I hope she gets a real one. That'll be pretty cool. You'll wait in the boat. Wait, hold on. Wait in the boat? But I want to be in on the action. Are you ready, though? Are you ready? And you must wait. Can I count on you? No. I mean, the getaway driver is pretty important. Have you guys seen Baby Driver? It's actually pretty cool, if you guys can fit in it. Alright, nice pose. Pose for the few photos before you guys head out. I present you with Big to confirm my engagement to your daughter. Engagement? Oh, yeah. Who was I kidding? A dumpling like me with a goddess like you. A little dramatic. Oh, I'm pretty sure I won't forget you either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you will. That'll be one to remember. Ew. Engagement, big. <laughs> you and your daughter die a slow death and be buried with onions. <laughs> the baby spits too. Nobody curses my daughter. You got that? Because if you mess with Margot, you mess with me. <laughs> now get. <laughs> See, that's some amazing mom energy right there. You're doing a good job, Lucy. We just need to. Oh. Mm. 
she's so excited. That's great. It literally is like reverse Incredibles. Instead of sneaking off to do some hero work, like Gru is sneaking off to do a little villainy. Well, as long as you think it is, that's what matters. Yeah, I'll let someone else burst her bubble. <laughs> Just let her enjoy it. That diamond will make us the richest, most powerful villains in the world! Are you having second thoughts here, Gru? Are you regretting your decision? I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed, I was very rude, and you, you were always it. such a gentleman. You did it! You got our jobs back! You don't want to work there again. <laughs> Help well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> Oh, I miss the minions. <laughs> and that's saying something, man. That's some amazing strength there, Gru. Alright, what are they constructing here? I mean, that one prisoner is going to get out of here with them. <laughs> it's like that plane from uh, Chicken Run a little bit. What about him? He's just left behind. Yes, I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> He's dreaming with an Oscar speech. That is great. Oh, does he take it everywhere with him? It looks like Brad was the only one stupid enough to buy this junk. <laughs> he bought that many of his own action figures. He just can't resist. He just can't. What? Look at it, Clive. It's beautiful! Dang, he actually built a... <laughs> How does this guy get this many resources? Uh, he's gonna spot us. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> well, there you go. Give me back my diamond! <laughs> he holds it in front of his face just to mock him. <laughs> I love when Gru is petty like that. I mean, that is a lot of toys. They really need the minions to take those guys on. I thought your suits are sticky, no? Gotta be Lucy, yeah. Stole it together. Together? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You did nothing but screw up the whole time. That's a little harsh, Gru. No wonder Dad thought you were such a failure. <gasps> oh, that's way too far. Come on, Gru. I mean, the poor minion's on the bottom, on the bottom, dude. Has that prisoner even noticed what has happened? Honey, that's, that's not actually a I don't unicorn. think you have to say anything. She's young enough. Just let her enjoy it. Oh, you know what? Lucky is the best goat in the whole wide world! Oh, I'm so glad it didn't crush her. You can't stop her optimism. No, she, that's not her. She's wearing a disguise. She's got that Mission Impossible mask. Trust me, that's Balthazar. We're going to Hollywood! <laughs> now that's what I call acting! <laughs> is it though? If you have a whole like bodysuit, is it acting? <laughs> How much ice cream is that? You are definitely going to be sick on this next mission. Oh, you're asleep at the wheel. Man, turn, somebody turn. All right, they're teaming up again. I don't know what's gonna be scarier, this thing or the giant uh, thing from uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is what Hollywood will do to people. This is this is really a, a warning to everyone about show business. Brett, Brett, it's nine o'clock. No, three o'clock. He's on the left. <laughs> <gasps> no, I've seen this episode. He's going to bubblegum the whole city and send it up into space. <gasps> Hurry! No! <gasps> <laughs> How many actors have wanted to do that after getting rejected after an audition? That's that's some serious destruction, man. With all this funding, I feel like you could have produced your own TV show. Yeah. Uh. At least it's bouncy and not too sticky. You're about to be blasted back to the 80s! I think he's been stuck there a while. 
Oh, dang. This third movie is going full Man of Steel. Like, how many citizens are getting wiped out during all this destruction? All right, look at this. <laughs> yippee ki <-yay. laughs> I love how that guy is still reading the newspaper. Just start cutting wires, do anything. I think dance fights are kind of his expertise. <laughs> it's stuck in his hair. Oh, that must have been painful. Ah, uh, someone cut the music. <laughs> oh, why'd you cut the song? What now? Oh, it's raining minions. Hey, Mal. Welcome back. Love you, Mom. That's great. That's great. She is a good mom. Time for bed. We're back at work in the morning. Good luck. Good luck, Lucy. Love you. Uh -huh. Right. I love you, too. <laughs> yeah, of course not. They're not going back to sleep. Wait, what are they actually gonna do? They're taking out the car? All right. Yeah. Oh, honey, he's my brother. Give me a five minute head start. <laughs> Wait, is that seriously where they're gonna end it? Dang, it's like ending on a cliffhanger. That's like the opposite of wrapping up the storyline. All right, so that is Despicable Me 3. I mean, that ending kind of really surprised me. Let me just talk about that first. I mean, it, I think it really seems like they're setting up for a fourth movie with, you know, Gru's brother Drew now as the new villain of the squad. So we'll see. That that could be interesting. I, I haven't heard anything about a fourth movie. I, I'm pretty sure there's like a Minions movie, but I don't, I'm like 99% positive there's a Despicable Me 4, at least not yet. But that, that could be interesting to see. But I don't know, that movie was a, was fun. <laughs> Baltazar was a, was a great new <laughs> villain. Possibly he's up there with one of the legendary villain hairstyles. I still think Syndrome has him beat just a little bit because man, that guy's hair is just so high and stands up so straight. But uh, Baltazar's hair was pretty darn good. Good. It was cool seeing Lucy like fitting into her role as a mother and getting a little more comfortable with that and seeing the girls like interact with her and really accepting and appreciating her in their life as their mom. And yeah, just something I, I like about all the Despicable Me movies is it's really, I think at the heart of the films, it's about family. And it's kind of interesting like how each of the three movies, they bring in a new member into the family, right? Like the first movie, of course, grew having his family beyond the minions who have always been around, but really learning to be part of a family through adopting the three girls. And then in the second movie, you know, falling in love, meeting Lucy, bringing her into the family. And in this third movie, you know, learning about a friendship, about brotherhood and working through some quirks and some differences and jealousies and things like that. Although the ending kind of leaving it a little bit more nuanced than that, but... But yeah, had a lot of fun with that movie. Not exactly a concluding chapter just because of the way it left off, but a, a good third addition to the Despicable Me films. As always, if you do want to see the full unedited reaction, like I mentioned at the beginning, that's up on Patreon. If you want to see my next week's animated reaction, that's also up on Patreon. Um, let me know in the comments which of the three Despicable movies you like best, one, two, or three. Right now, I'm still kind of leaning towards the original, just seemed the most fresh and the funniest. But let me know in the comments which of the three like really captured your attention, had you laughing the most and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero